Hey, Ian here. Uh, one of the things we often get asked um, in terms of using hyper-personalization in LinkedIn, like this example we can see here uh, to Jeff with a personalized image uh, and the clickable call to action, is whilst automation is great um, and you, know, you want to use that as much as possible to leverage your time, often you know, want to also do some manual uh, LinkedIn outreach. So maybe finding an individual and wanting to create an, uh, a similar scenario to this and what is the easiest way to achieve something like that. So and the purpose of this video is to go through of how we can use hyper-personalization in a one-to-one -one, uh, LinkedIn outreach perspective. So first of all, we see, let's just look at this example we've got here. We see this is to Jeff. Um, and we see here using this personalized short link, when we add that into the message, we get this personalized preview like we see here uh, with the personalization in the image uh, and also the personalization and title description underneath. And of course, this is a clickable uh, image. So therefore we're gonna take them through to, in this case, through to a personalized landing page. You can see this is personalized to Jeff uh, with his uh, business name and obviously some other elements like call to actions personalized to him. So. The first step to that would be, uh, you know, when we're doing some uh, research, manual research on LinkedIn, either doing a search like this, or maybe when we're actually looking at a profile of somebody, you'll notice now in my LinkedIn, we've got this additional option here, this button called Save Profile. Um, you see, we can also see that um, in, um, in the actual profile as well. So this is a little Chrome extension. It's a free Chrome extension that I found called LinkedIn contact importer. You can see I've already got that installed here. Um, and you can see when I'm, I'm just gonna click it here, what it allows me to do is, it allows me to do three different things, but uh, one of those is configure a Google Sheet. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna get my sheet ID here, which is this one, uh, for this blank sheet that I have. So I'm just gonna copy the bit in between uh, the edit at the end of the URL um, and before there, before that, the, pre the, the previous slash. And all I'm going to do, um, going back into LinkedIn, Chrome extension, I'm just going to drop that sheet ID into here and you can see where you get it from. And then from there, I can just map the fields. So I've got my LinkedIn URL. I'm going to add the uh, profile image, uh, the title of the person, the company name, uh, and the name of the person. I'm going to add all of those into these fields. So when I start to um, when I start to click this button here, they get it appear in this sheet here. So let's just go and check, play, uh, save Claudia, for example. We'll save that profile there. And we pop up the sheet, we can see, bam, we've already got that data already in there, the profile image uh, and on all the various of the data. And so what we can do is we can either do individual profiles or you know where we've got a search result like this, where we've got multiple results, we can just kind of go through and the ones that we like uh, we will just add, and then you see if we go over to the sheet, and uh, we've got all of that data in there now. So once we're kind of um, happy with that, what we can then do is use this Google Sheet data and integrate it with an image um, in Hyperize to pull that data through and generate some short links. So what I'm going to do is jump over to Hyperize, and I've got this image here. Let's just do a quick preview. Uh, and what we're going to see, we're going to pull through here is the first name, and their profile image and put on there and just humanize the situation and you know just kind of have my call to action on the board there. It's a nice simple GIF. Um, so I'm going to go to integrations and click add and I'm going to uh, find the Google Sheet. Uh, and what I'm going to do is choose new and the new sheet that um, I'm just starting to get populated from that Chrome extension. I'm just going to pop that in there and click next. And again, what we can do. Uh, first of all, I'm going to um, give this a meaningful name. So I'm just going to grab this name here, actually, rather than the sheet name, that would make more sense. I'm going to tick this box here, check Google Sheets for modified data. So as we keep adding more data, we'll, we'll check that. And then finally, what I'm going to do um, is just um, match up all of the various different um, bits of data here. So we've got a job title, for example, uh, profile image. We've got profile image. Uh, and also we've got this uh, the short link column that we had in the sheet. So I'm gonna click here and select the short link uh, from Hyperize. And then what I'm gonna do that makes this button here enabled. So now what I can do is I can put in the destination where I want to send people. So let's just go back and just grab this one here. Just uh, the, the 
the URL where we want to send people to. So I'm going to put that in there. I'm also going to put in a personalized description, which is going to, as we saw before, appear underneath the image. So here is your personalized report. I just add that in the description as well. So we're creating our short link here. We click save on that and click save here. So we've saved our image, we've added our Google Sheet, which is going to get filled automatically by the uh, Chrome extension. And now we've got our Google Sheet with all of our short link data in there. We can click one of these, for example, let's just choose uh, this one here. So that's Johnny Butler. And we'll click that. And what we're going to get through to is the personalized uh, page. And you see in this case, personalized uh, to Johnny. And we're going to get that personalized in this, in this case with a personalized video as well. Hi, Johnny. Did you know videos generate them? And that's really a, a very simple way of creating a, a simple uh, a process by using the Chrome extension to add prospects directly within LinkedIn. And then when we have these short links, we can simply share these in, um, in LinkedIn. So, and we'll see them in a message. So let's just go over to the post inspector. So this is going to show us how LinkedIn will display this link uh, when we add it into our messages. Take a second to load. And here we can see in this case, this is what we're going to see uh, when we post this into a message or what the prospect is going to see. Probably going to see this name, Johnny, putting through his profile image and obviously the animated GIF uh, and Johnny, uh, obviously the title we put underneath it. Obviously, this is going to be clickable. When they click it, we're going to get through to, in that case, we saw the destination page we saw there. So a very simple way that we can create hyper personalization, provide a personalized image, you know, with the GIF that's going to draw the eye in, uh, with the personalization that's going to trigger the pattern interrupt and create a moment of delight, uh, you know, and, and get people more likely to respond and in this case, click. And obviously when they get to the landing page, they're going to get that personalized experience, you know, and, and as we've seen from previous um, uh, uh, kind of studies, um, that, you know, that's more than likely to double the, the chances of conversion there. So we're kind of compounding the impact of each of these steps to create this true hyper personalization and a significant uplift in our conversions whilst doing this manually. I hope this has been interesting. I look forward to hearing your success stories and also catching you in the next video. You take care. See you later. Bye-bye.